Hey, how's it? I'm Chris from Kaiumi Photo. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this image on the left to this image on the right. Hope you enjoy the show. Open up Lightroom. Alright, we just imported our photos and check this out. This is the image I like right here. I want it to look like this. Alright, no problem. Let's do it. So back to this image here. This is the one you uploaded. I want you to right click. Create virtual copy. All right, let's do that one more time. Right click, create virtual copy. All right, now we have two, three images all the same. So this image right here is selected. I want you to go into the library module. All right, once you're in the library module, you're gonna go over here to the exposure setting. Click one stop up. All right, that just brightened it up. Now click that middle image there go back to the exposure setting and click one stop down it's gonna make it a little darker so what we got here is we have a light image a dark image and a normal image okay now we're gonna hold down control and click on all three images now we're gonna right click export photomatics pro we don't need to align images because it's one single image. We don't need to reduce any ghosting, one single image. And any of these other checks, no need. Okay, just hit export. Now I'm gonna speed it up. All right, we're back. So this screen just popped up, exposure value setting, no problem. This usually happens when you have one photo and you change the settings. Um, so no problem, just hit okay. Boom. Look at that. Okay. We're looking good already. I'm, I'm pretty happy. But let's go through the settings real fast. The strength, 100. Color saturation, 93. Luminosity, 6. Detail contrast, 6. The lighting adjustments. I checked that little box there so I could just have selections. So I, I selected Surreal. Smooth highlights, 51. You can darken that and that will darken your sky. All right, or you can brighten it up. I like it a little bit darker. All right, looking good. White point, bring that up. That'll just bring out some brightness. Looking good, looking good. Black point, no need. It's already got enough blacks. The gamma, you can bring down a little bit. And yeah, didn't do much. Temperature, if you go to the right, it's going to bring out the oranges. If you go to the left, it's going to bring out the blue. Whoa. Let's go back to the reds. Alright, just a little bit more. This is a sunset, so we need some reds. A little bit more. Alright, looking good, looking good. Scroll down a little bit. Micro smoothing. I always bump mine to the left, which gives you that, that pretty clean HDR look. Saturation highlights. Yeah, we need those. I get it at two. Saturation shadows. Let's go to negative one. All right. Smooth shadows. That just brings in the shadows a little bit more. All right. I got my shadow smoothness set at 20. Shadows clipping. I don't ever mess with that. Um, okay. Hey, that's your image. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. Hit save and re-import. I'm gonna speed it up. All right, we're back. So this is the image that came back from Photomatix. Look at that, that's amazing. I love it, I love that program. So here's the image we want it to look like. And this is what it looks like right now. Pretty close, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, I always straight on my horizon line. So I'm going to click on this little crop overlay icon here and go to the angle setting, which is the ruler. And I'm just going to click on this where it's zeros right now. Hold down the mouse and I'm going to drag to the left. And as you can see, the image is straightening out. So I look at the horizon line with those, those lateral lines there and um, let go. 
and then hit enter. All right, now the horizon line straight, looking good. So now I'm gonna go down the line. I'm not gonna mess with any brushes or any uh, graduated filters. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the exposure right here. Click it and drag it to the right just a little bit. Just give it some brightness. Uh, the contrast, bring that up. Let's go to 10. Highlights, I'm gonna bring that down. It'll bring down the highlights within the, within the sky. Shadows, I like it where it's at. Whites, I like it, I like it. I like everything. Clarity, let's bump that up just a little bit. Let's go to five. Vibrance, this is gonna bring in those, uh, those, those colors. All right, don't go too high because it'll mess up your water. All right, let's go at seven. Um, saturation, you can bump that up just a little bit. Seven and seven, vibrance and saturation. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's see what it looks like before. Look at that, I need to straighten out the horizon on that one. This one, straighten out the horizon, and I'm pretty satisfied with that picture. So, I hope you enjoyed that show, and I uh, hope you learned something. So, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope... So that does it. Look at that. Our image is pretty much done. What I'm going to do now is export into uh, Photoshop and put my signature on it and um, maybe upload to Facebook, maybe, um, maybe print it out and, um, and put it on the website.